If you're anything like me, you love when fall comes around and it's time to order that pumpkin spice latte and all the fall flavors. Joining me now with some fall recipes to sip and savor is author and food writer, Leslie Dabney, AKA everyone's favorite, The Vineyard Mom. Leslie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Jessica. And yes, it is officially fall. Yes. I don't know if the Bay Area actually got that memo, but it is fall and I love all the fall flavors. Like you said, the lattes with pumpkin. Yes. I also love the food of fall, soups, stews, anything that we can get that's more on the comforting side. Yes, warm and comforting. I'm all about that. So why don't we dive into what you brought us today? What are we going to make over here? We are going to start with one of my favorite soups and it's a butternut squash soup Yum. with apple with apple cider in it. Okay. So we're looking at a couple of different flavors that represent fall because we're in the harvest right now. Right. So we're going to see some different fruits and vegetables out there. And one of my favorite is the butternut squash. And this okay. soup is not only healthy, it's delicious and it's easy to make. So I already started off by and you can smell how great. Yes. When anytime you sweat onions and some garlic, it just smells fantastic. So I already started that. Okay. And then I have my butternut squash. Are you a fan of butternut I squash? I love butternut squash. Yes, I do. I do too. And to tell you the truth, I know some people can get a little intimidated mm -hmm. by it, but honestly, if you can peel and dice a carrot and potato, you can do a butternut squash. It's kind of like a potato with a little bit more flavor. Exactly, you say? Okay. exactly. And it's healthy too. It's got rich in vitamins. It's got potassium. It's very good for you. Yeah. So I'm going to add this chopped butternut squash into my pan. Okay. And did you boil that to make it soft or is it going to cook there yet. in the pan? Not yet. We're going to cook it in this okay. pan. And to do that, like to boil it, we need to have some liquid. This is some homemade, of course, because I made my own yes. stock. So I'm going to add the stock to it. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it go for about 20 minutes till it gets nice and soft. Okay. And I always make a really big portion of this because Jessica, it's so great to take the next day. Yes. If you're sending it to to school in a thermos or even to work. Yeah. You're having a healthy, really satisfying meal. And, and you know it's good for you. Yes, and soup is always better those couple days, like the day or two later. Yes. Soup, the flavors really like seep in, and so I love that. Okay, once you have that all boiled and softened, then we do what do we do next? We are going to use our immersion blender, which I am going to use the technical culinary term. We're gonna zhuzh it up. Okay. So we can get it nice and smooth. All right. So we'll use this. I already did mine because this does make a lot of noise. Yeah. But if for any reason you don't have an immersion blender, that's okay. Do you have a blender at home? I, yes, a blender. I don't okay. have an immersion, but a blender. Perfect. The one you're using to make your margaritas, you can also go ahead and make the soup. Okay. So we blend it till it's nice and smooth. And here comes that apple cider I was talking about. It's going to add so much delicious flavor to Yum. it. And it's also going to make it a little thinner because it is a thicker soup. Yep. And then add... To this because we got to make it a little bit more luxurious. A little I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream. You can go ahead and add a little half and half if you want. Okay. But you're going to make sure that's nice and warm. Adjust your seasoning. But this is that beautiful soup and it's nice, thick, and hearty. And are we going to top it off with this? We are going to top it off with some fresh I can, sage. I can smell Doesn't it. Doesn't that I smell love like fresh. fall? Yes. The fresh. Look at how beautiful. And if you don't have any sage, of course, something like parsley will work just fine. Yum. Okay. The soup looks beautiful. You, I wish everyone could smell it at home. It smells delicious. Now I'm going to move into something else that I love, some sweets. So what are these sweet treats that you Oh brought? my goodness. We have delicious pumpkin pecan muffins. Yeah. And I decided to make them jumbo size. Yeah. And they look really big. We're going to dive into this and move right along. So what, this is our, what ingredients? Our dry ingredients, flour, sugar, our brown sugar, and just some baking soda, baking powder. You want me to pour and this all in And if you go ahead here? and add that in there, we are going to mix this together. And this is not a particularly super wet mixture. And to this mixture, we're going to also add the pecans because we've got the wet ingredients that has the delicious pumpkin and eggs and all that good stuff. And then we just mix it together. And like I said, I decided to do jumbo, but mm -hmm. you can go ahead and do any size you want. I really like the jumbo. They look nice and, <laughs> and appealing, you know? They do. Let's, and you don't want to over mix it. Big, if we're going to go big, let's do it big. I agree with you. And 
Honestly, I use this scoop just because I know that they are gonna be the same size. So here's one that I'm just gonna show you how I okay. put into a grease pan. And I can't leave well enough alone. I decided we needed to top this with a little streusel. So this is just a little bit of flour, Yum. some butter, rolled oats, and more pecans. And we're okay. gonna bake that off for about 20, 25 minutes. That's Yum. good to go any time of the day. Yum. Okay, last but not least, we can't do this without a couple of cocktails to go with it. What do you have for us? Exactly. I'm gonna, move, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hand you this. Okay. And then what are we topping off? Well, you know something? We're gonna add a little bit of sparkling water. Okay. This is just a Sauvignon Blanc that we're gonna add a little bit of pumpkin syrup to okay. or a pumpkin liqueur. I know, you're wondering, how did we get yeah. pumpkin into this? But I'm Sauvignon telling you. Sauvignon Blanc with yeah. pumpkin liqueur. With pumpkin liqueur, a little bit of sparkling water to make this wine spritzer. And this is a cinnamon stick. A nice cinnamon stick. You can stir it together. And it just smells like holiday. It looks like the holiday. But even better, it's delicious. Let's cheers to that. Cheers. Taste this here. Love to get all the fall flavors. Mm. Oh, you get that cinnamon right off the bat with a very little bit of that wow. pumpkin spice to this it. This is really good. Perfect for the holidays. And if you don't have Sauvignon Blanc, you can use a Pinot Grigio. I love that it's really light. It's light on the wine. The Sauvignon mm -hmm. Blanc is perfect. The pumpkin is super light. The, the combo together, wow, this is perfect. Cheers. Leslie, you're Thank always you. bringing us the best recipes. This is amazing for fall. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing these with us today. Thank you, and have a great fall. Thank you, you too.